Well, hello everyone, it's Nina. Thanks so much for joining me today for a new tutorial and I am so excited to be sharing this one with you. I have been waiting for so long to share these brand new Simon Says Stamp Mesh bags with you. I love these bags because they are such a great size and perfect for holding so many different crafting supplies. I have been part of the project in creating these bags and so I've had a lot of opportunity to be able to work with them ahead of time and I just love them. Check out some of these cute details. We even have an adorable little zipper pull in the shape of a paw. Great teal color to match our Simon teal and I just love the flexibility and the room that these bags have. They're also super easy to clean and I'll show you that in a little bit. One of the other great things I love about these bags is the versatility of them and how many things you could store in them. So I'm gonna share with you the things I love to store in these bags. First up, I wanna show you the card kits. Our Simon Says Stamp card kits come with so many fun things, including some bulkier items like the rainbow kit for June of 2021. There was some ink pads in that kit and I love that this bag can hold everything. The other thing I love about them is that I could label these bags so that way I know exactly what month and year a kit was from if I'm going to keep the kit permanently in this bag. So I like to create the labels that for my bags just with some simple masking tape. I don't need anything fancy because I love the fact that I can just write on the masking tape and then peel it off when I want to reuse the bag for something else super handy and it's a really great way to be able to keep my kits organized while I'm working with them, especially if I have multiple kits out at a single time. I love that these bags hold all of the kit contents so beautifully and everything fits really, really nicely, including the eight and a half by 11 inch sheets of cardstock. Another thing that these bags are fantastic for is holding projects that you're in the middle of. I always have multiple projects going on at a single time and sometimes I change my mind and I have all sorts of leftover pieces that can be used on other cards. Well, these bags are great for that because I can put all of those pieces into this bag and keep them protected, clean, and not have to worry about them getting damaged or inky from another project. They're nice and protected in these bags. Now, another thing that these bags are great for is holding products that you've never used before and that you want to remember to use. I have a few products here that I've gotten in some recent orders that I wanna be able to work with at some point soon, but I wanna be able to keep them in a place that they're not going to get lost amongst my usual products. So having them in a mesh bag like this is fantastic because now I know those products are things I haven't used yet and I wanna to get to. Another thing I love using them for is planning out projects. So I oftentimes will pick out a bunch of different things that I'm going to use on a specific project and I wanna remember that I'm using them on that project. So I find the bags are super helpful for me in holding all of those pieces together so I don't lose them. And I remember later on when I'm ready to create my project what I was going to use. Now some of the bags you'll notice I have little binder rings attached to them. This is super helpful. I use both larger and smaller binder rings to hold either my bags together or to hang them. So for the smaller binder rings, that's what I use to hang my bags from my Ikea pegboard. And I'll show you that in a little bit. But sometimes I wanna keep bags together so I don't lose them. And that's what I like the larger rings for. So I can slip multiple bags onto this binder ring and keep them together, especially if I were to take this traveling, I really find this helpful. I recently took a car ride up to Maine to go see some family and I brought some stuff with me in these mesh bags and holding things together in a mesh bag like that is fantastic. I also keep some of my bags in an Ikea cart and like I said, I hang some from my pegboard. So on my Ikea pegboard, I hang my projects that I haven't yet gotten to finish and complete. That's a really helpful place for me to keep them because it keeps them front and center and it's a good reminder for me that I have to use them. Another fantastic thing about these bags that I love is the fact that they're so easy to clean. Like I said, I took a trip up to Maine and when I did, I also brought some blending brushes with me. And because of the material that these bags are made from, they're so easy to clean. I had ink all over my bag after bringing the brushes home, they were transferring ink onto the bag. But with a quick little baby wipe swipe across the bag, I was able to clean up that ink so easily. So here you can see I've got some ink on this bag and I'm just wiping it down with a baby wipe and then I'll just let the bag air out and dry before I go to use it again. 
These bags are a great size too. They're 10 by 12 and a half, so you can fit a ton of stuff in here. And the flexible material is really nice because it allows everything that's bulky to also fit in there too. I just love the bags. They're fantastic, they're so easy to work with, and they've made such a difference in my organization inside my craft room, not just in the craft room, but also on the go too. Like I said, when I took them with me to travel, so convenient, so helpful, and I love them. So I hope that you got to get a good look at these bags through this video to see how fantastic they are for creating and working in your studio or traveling. I hope that this will help you decide if these bags are something that you need to get and add to your crafting organization. If you are interested in getting the mesh bags, there is a link to them in the video description below or if you're watching this on my blog, I have a full supply list down in the bottom of this blog post. I thank you so much for watching this video and for tuning in for any of my other videos that you may have watched. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you become a subscriber. And don't forget that if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful to give it a big thumbs up so that other people will find it helpful too. Thanks for tuning in. I will be back very soon with more inspiration for you. But until next time, I hope you all have a very wonderful day. Bye. <laughs>